It's me, Tom. Hey, everybody. Well, it's Sunday, to almost 8 o'clock. I see. And I'm pretty sure we just felt an earthquake. That clock's wrong. I haven't changed it. <laughs> we were supposed to change clocks last night. That was pretty crazy. It's the second one yeah. this it's, summer. Yeah, it's not windy, and the RV just shook. I mean, it it For it a yeah, it, it shook pretty good. And I walked outside, and it's not windy or nothing. We're watching our shows. Storm. Sunday night, and I got the game on. Sunday night football on the little TV. It's a commercial, but I probably can't show it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this is the advantage of the new living room here. It's awesome having two TVs. Yeah, we can kick back, watch a, a show, and have a a game on the little TV. Well, just wanted to share that with you guys. Yeah, I don't know if you guys felt it wherever you're at. We're in St. Joseph, Missouri, and it probably another one in Oklahoma. That's already we we felt the one what last month couple months ago. I don't know. Alright guys. Peace out. See you on the road. Hey, what's up guys? So it's Monday morning. And yes, that was an earthquake last night that we felt. It was another one in Oklahoma. We felt it pretty good. Last time I was in a dead sleep and it woke me up. And by the time I realized what was happening it stopped the last time I wasn't even sure I didn't know if it was me felt like somebody was climbing up the ladder on the back of the RV but this time we was awake last night we was watching TV and we felt it pretty good I mean I felt some strong winds and felt the RV rock but nothing like that it was pretty wild and I mean it gets me thinking I am glad we're in an RV just because it, it feels like something's gonna happen big but you know I hope it doesn't but you never know and we're not preppers or anything like that but we believe in being prepared so we are gonna start preparing a little bit more I'm gonna start stockpiling some food and things like that just you know things that don't weigh a lot but and don't cost much and you know we'll keep for a while something that'll keep us fed just in case the stores do shut down or something crazy happens you never know but I am I'm glad we live in an RV just in case at the moment because if we do lose power and we do lose water we have water on board we have a generator as long as we have food and water guys we're good to go for a while but, I don't know, let, let us know where you guys are and if you felt it. It was in Oklahoma, like central Oklahoma, they said. Kind of north, maybe. But, we're in St. Joseph, Missouri. A good, I don't know, three, four, five hundred miles away. Something like that. And we felt it pretty good, so I can imagine how they felt it in Oklahoma. I know there's a couple RV channels that are in Oklahoma. So I'm, I'm sure they felt it pretty good. But what are you guys doing to prepare? Are you, are you ready? I don't think we're 100% ready if something big happened right now. But I think we would be okay. But it's wild, guys. Let us know in the comments what you guys think, if you felt it, and what you're doing to prepare, or are you prepared? If something major happens and I'm out of here guys I'm gonna shave and cut my hair and shower and get some work done around here all right guys be safe out there and we'll see you on the road